Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you might remember the teenage girl about a month ago that was found lynched in a wooded area near an apartment that she lived in. So we don't go in the woods and lynch ourselves. There is no history of us going in the woods and lynching ourselves, but there certainly is a, a history in this country of high IQ people lynching us. That history is there. So this is NBC News, May 18th, 2021. And she was lured into the, the wooded area that she was found in. And that is a known fact but she suicided herself. I guess she went out there, had some people out there with her and decided to sue. Well, you know, well, let me be the entertainment for this evening. I'll just suicide myself in front of you. So the death of a Massachusetts 16 year old girl last month in a case that prompted calls for transparent investigation has been ruled a suicide, a death certificate obtained by NBC Boston show. They got a pact y'all of whenever we are lynched, it is automatically a suicide. They got a pack because if you notice, no matter where they find a body hanging in America, that's always the conclusion. They have made a concerted effort to continue the lynchings and label every single one as suicide. Mika um, Michaela Miller was found dead by a jogger in a wooded area near her apartment in Hopkinton. Um, and this was April 18th. The Middlesex District Attorney's Office announced the findings from the state's medical examiner in a statement Tuesday. Our investigation into the events surrounding Michaela's death remains active and ongoing the office wrote in a statement according to the Associated Press. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, let me just talk real to you. Look, whenever there are deaths, shootings of police in any type of killing at the hands of non-Black people, they're gonna always find the victim at fault or say it's a suicide or you resisted arrest, or you did this. This is what's going to happen as long as high IQ people are doing the investigation. That is the root cause of all of these rulings that you're seeing. As long as they are the ones doing the investigation, these things are never going to go anywhere. And that's what's happening in all of these suicide cases. We know it's happening in the police shootings. We know it is. And this is why you're going to continue to get these rulings as long as they are the ones doing the investigation. And I'm telling you the truth. Okay. The office did not immediately respond to requests for comment from NBC News Monday night. Michaela's mother, Calvina Struthers, 
has raised questions about the investigation into her daughter's death. Yeah, well, it's never going to be right as long as you know who was doing the investigating. The district attorney, Miriam Ryan, has defended the investigation and rejected any suggestion that her office neglected the case because Michaela was black and a member of LGBTQ. That's what they're saying. That is painfully false. Uh, this is what Ryan is saying. Struthers could not be reached for comment Monday night. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm, you know, it is exhausting reporting on this kind of stuff. It is. I have done several videos on lynching and the outcome is always the same. That's why I know they got a pack not to ever make these lynchings a homicide. And they have not made one in this country a homicide, even back when they were doing it during slavery, reconstruction and Jim Crow. Well, hell, we're still in Jim Crow. But like I said, as long as the investigations keep being laid in their hands, you're going to keep getting the same outcome. And I know we're tired of looking at this. I know we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think about this ruling that her lynching was a suicide. You know, all of them are suicides, according to these people. All of them. But like I said, the history shows high IQ people lynching us. But now all of a sudden, we're in this part of our captivity and all of a sudden it's all suicides. Mm -hmm, whatever. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.